I, Eddard, the House Stork, Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North, sentence you to die. If I had to describe Game of Thrones with one word, it would be power. It's about people trying to gain power. It's about people who already have power trying to keep power, and then those caught in the middle. The Seven Kingdoms is a single realm made up of seven realms that once were independent. And the North is uh, perhaps the largest. Even in the height of summer, they get snows up there because they are so far north. Winterfell is uh, the major castle, the seat of House Stark. It's not a city or town so much as it is a, a castle, a stronghold, a fortress. You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. Winter is coming. You were born in a long summer. You've never known anything else. But now winter is truly coming. Winter is coming, the stark words. And because summers are so long in this land where we are, the winters are equally long. The words of the stark winter is coming are, of course, very literal in Westeros. Winter is coming, but uh, I think it, it has meaning beyond that. It, winter is coming for all of us in, in our own lives. There's always times of, times of darkness and death. So every house in Westeros has its heraldry, and the stark heraldry is a direwolf. Direwolves existed in the real world. Uh, they were actual prehistoric wolves. Ned Stark is a uh, childhood friend of the current king, Robert Baratheon. You got fat. <laughs> Ned Stark is a man of honor. He's the moral heart of the story. He's a man who's always trying to do the right thing. He's fundamentally a good man. He's a man who loves his wife, and he loves his children. He has a large family. He's married to Catelyn Tully Stark, Lady Stark. She's a very dear wife, someone who's very grounded. Theirs is a very genuine, true marriage. They're completely devoted to each other. And together they have a number of children, the eldest son, Rob. To be a man and to be a Stark is a very difficult thing. We're all bound by a sense of duty and responsibility. Sophie plays Sansa, who is the girl from the provinces who desperately wants to be a part of the action in the big city. She's the sort of girl that believes in princes and when her prince is going to come and take her on the horse and ride away into the moonlight. Arya is mischievous and she wants to be a boy and she's active and she doesn't like sewing. She has scruffy clothes, scruffy hair, you know, she goes on the run. And then there's lovely Bran at the end. He lives quite an easy life to start with. He loves climbing, he's the son of a lord. And the youngest, Rickon, who's just a boy of six. <laughs> also living in his household, Jon Snow, who is a bastard. And you are a Stark. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. The strain comes when it comes to Jon's secret history. He doesn't know where he's come from, why his father did what he did. Is my mother alive? The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. Ned's father and his own elder brother were, were killed by the preceding king. Ned's younger brother, uh, Benjen, is a uh, ranger of the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch protects the realm against a band of people called the Wildlings who live beyond the wall. I'm the first ranger. The job is out there. Winter is coming. Winterfell's one of the first places they get hit by everything that comes and everything that comes with it, the weather, the supernatural elements. After the wall, it's us that guard the North, the Starks. 